Hey right guys, Trophy Much is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode one of let me get this right, Dharma Monster, the Jeffrey Dharma story. Um but no, I we reacted to the trailer a couple of days ago and this time last week I had no plans of doing this. I was like, okay, I'll do it when it comes out in I was assuming October. Then the trailer came out, I was like, yeah, it's out in about four days. So here we are. Uh, we're going to be doing all episodes of this because I'm super intrigued to see Evan Peters kind of play this role. I don't know. I just feel like ever since he was cast as Dharma, I mean, obviously he was going to get cast because it's Ryan Murphy. And him and Ryan Murphy together all the time. But it's interesting seeing him in like One Tree Hill. I'm doing One Tree Hill at the moment. And he's in that, like his early chops just before he kind of got cast in American Horror Story. And then he was really good in... Um, uh, X-Men, he's like one of the best parts of, everyone says he's like one of the best parts of the X-Men films uh, the new ones, so that's pretty cool I've seen him in something else as well I can't remember what it was, I feel like it was oh he's, yeah that was it, I've seen him in The Office but <laughs> he's only in it for like one episode so that doesn't really count, but, but yeah I think it's a solid actor and with Ryan Murphy, like I said in the trailer he definitely does have ups and downs like he's the reason that we get some of the best seasons of American Horror Story, but then he's the reason we get some of the worst seasons of American Horror Story the reason we have Scream Queens but then there's the reason we have some of the best parts of Glee, and then some of the worst parts of Glee. And then he did the Versace show, which was really good, and then the OJ show, which I thought was his best work. Hollywood was pretty good. I didn't mind that show. It's not one I've thought about since I reacted to it. Uh, I did react to Hollywood and the Versace one, if anyone wants to check that out. And Glee and Scream Queens. So Ryan Murphy, somehow, <laughs> even though I'm kind of critiquing him, has four uh, series that I've done on this channel all the way through. Yeah, I did all those shows all the way through, so that's kind of mad. But uh, here we are with his fifth with Dharma. So episode one, uh, we'll do episode one and maybe episode two today, and then we'll do one episode every single day for the next nine days because there's ten episodes overall. So if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. As leaving a like does actually help, believe it or not, uh, <laughs> unfortunately. And if you want to see more of this content, subscribe. As like I say, I'll be doing these for the next few days. And you can watch these episodes over on Netflix if you are intrigued to do so. And Patreon might be a few episodes ahead. Maybe not today, but in the f over the next coming days, I'll probably start to get more episodes over on Patreon. So if you want to join over on there, that'll be linked down below. As well as my Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. But for now, episode one, let's do this. Evan Peters, starring in the role of Jeffrey Dahmer, Milwaukee. Millwalk is like a cool state name. I'll back that. I mean, you're getting bad vibes, so. She knows some of us up already. <laughs> you can tell she's gonna be good already, acting wise. I don't know who she is. I'm not, I don't think I've seen her in anything. Nice. She knows, she's like, bro, this guy's chopping on bodies. Uh, getting a nice tinny out after committing a crime. But we didn't even see anything. We didn't see his face, we didn't see any body. Or we didn't just his body. His body, not a body, but... <laughs> Excuse me. Jeff. I'm not going to say <laughs> I was going to... I almost did the meme. I didn't. We're way past that. We're like almost ten years past that. My tropical fish died. They get this disease. It's, it's called ick. Mm, oh, we've heard of that. pH level of the water. <laughs> it cast them so well. Anyway, they all caught it and died, and I'll clean it out this weekend. Okay, Jeffrey. You do you, bro. Well, he left his door unlocked. You could just go check. You might die doing so, but... I think he left the door not to be wrong. <laughs> two PBRs, please. Oh, he's buying us PBR. <laughs> he must be a real player. <laughs> it's like, just you wait, unfortunately. You bought me a beer, too. Last I just bought it one drink. Just last week. So you're going to make a move on one of us, play Are you going to walk off like last time? <laughs> you don't want him to make a move, trust me, bro. But Jeffrey's breaking it down. Starts flossing. Now that <laughs> got a great jawline, really good bone structure. I can tell. Ah, uh, you will be able. You will be able to tell. Oh yeah, the dance floor, the light was hit it. I can tell. Yeah, stop by. This uh, five four eight. 
or 22nd Street. It's a nice little bungalow. Ah, uh, you've been lied to. Surely they'd know. Like, as soon as this guy goes missing, they're like, oh, well, this weird guy was in here last night. Oh, bro. Didn't he just kill someone? Have you not had enough? Here we go. Yeah, don't go in there. Did you not hear him say bungalow? So he's already lied. Home sweet home. I've been knocking on everyone, every neighbour. Like, if I don't come out in the next 30 minutes, I'm dead. Well, you need to check on me, please. Send me a bunch of meat. But I forgot to plug that little freezer in. And it all went bad. There you go. Sound of a lock. That's when you know you're done. You're done. You, he knows it. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of fucked here. I don't like opening them up because of the noise. He's got machete. was not machete, but, but it's, I, uh, the more you look have around. An air conditioner. The satanic Bible. Come on. <laughs> like, who pulls a beer into a little plastic cup like that? What is that floating in there? What? It's probably just dish soap or something like that. <laughs> well, you're still gonna drink? Okay. No. I guess it's 1991. People just, I don't know, trusted everyone, I guess. Now you see someone like that, you're like, yeah, I'm gone. Well, I wanna show you around first. Uh -huh. Then you wanna see all these barren walls. Look at these guys. Here's my dead fish. <laughs> Be there. Fighting fish. I was supposed to put two of them in the same tank. I wonder why they go down the road of this conversation because there's no way they knew that this was what they were talking about. Like, unless Jeffrey told him, yeah, just so you know. Ah, uh, that was real quick. It's not even very, it's not smooth about it, is it? Jesus. Let's see. Okay. That escalated quick. Or did it? I don't know. She knows. I got neighbors. <laughs> he does have neighbors. It's not exactly like this apartment soundproof. Roundhouse kick. There's blood on the bed. I'm right. Dead. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm relaxed. It's like the more you look at these rooms, the Worst they can. Watch a movie. Gonna take some pictures. Yeah, we ain't watching that film. <laughs> I think he just realised he's next to a patch of blood. <laughs> I like. I don't know what I'd do. What would you do in that situation? Would you try and play him with the words? Would you rush it? I don't know. Ah, he's going for the. We're on a cute little date vibe. Okay, with his veiny arms. Jeez. I think you're gonna like it. Yes, good, good play. It's a good play. It's better than the trying to run away play, I think. I don't get the point in the handcuff yet. It's not like he's cuffed both his hands. We know for a fact as well that lock on the door's dodgy, so I think he's gonna try and go for the door and it ain't gonna work. Yeah, Jeffrey's a bit smitten by this man. Go, go, go. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I played that one off well. <laughs> he was so quick with that camera, that's so unfortunate. Do these photos actually exist? I feel like surely I would have seen this on like Twitter or something. Oh yeah, here's a Jeffrey Dahmer Polaroid. God, this whole episode like, on edge. <laughs> He's just waiting for like the, the shoes to drop like. Soon! I don't like horror movies, honey. Scare me. Can we put on Toy Story, which wasn't out for another four years still? Death is uh, just a part of life. That's a fun thing to say, isn't it? God. Are you scared of the movie? Are you scared of me? Uh, <sighs> don't know, Jeffrey. Am I weird? Well, that's. <laughs> now we're getting personal, Jeffrey. Was the Exorcist three? Ah, the third one. Yeah. I watch it every day. Every day? I'm almost ready. 
Um, all right, you gotta go, bro. It's time to go. Not that you can just like walk out and leave, but you gotta make a move. I've never seen any of the Exorcist films. Fun fact. I've seen a lot of clips though. Well, that's a pretty rapid heartbeat here. Yeah. And when you hurt, because I'm gonna eat it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, break his neck. This guy's like pretty buff. He could probably choke Jeffrey out. Once you hear that, yeah, tear his glasses off, then he can't see. There you go. What are you doing? Nice, that's what we need to do. Okay, we know not to go for a lot because you should have booed him in the face again. Yes, mate! Knock him out! Stop going for the lock! <laughs> oh, he's so stressed. Oh, you got it, you got it. Wait, what? Maybe this is the one that got away. I don't actually know. I, like I said, I don't know anything. I don't know. Some things. Yeah, she knew. She knew. He actually got away, what? <laughs> Fair play, mate. I'd, yeah, that, maybe that's the real twist of the show. Oh, God. Why are you wearing handcuffs? Because they tried to fucking kill me. Maybe the cops have rolled on up. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we're starting with like, the episode where he got caught then. Welcome, officers, to my lovely home. Is he just going to kill all three of them? At him? Well, like I, like I said before, if we were just uh, playing around and, uh, you know, as best gay guys we can. They can't just bust in his house, can they? You have the key to the handcuffs. I'll find it. I'll, I'll be right back. You mind if we come in? Uh, I'm like, check that tub in the bedroom. If that's full of, like, Lego or something, I'd be so disappointed. Watch him just kill all three. I don't even bloody know. Yeah, they know instantly. Oh, smells like bodies. You want to come in? Hell no. <laughs> yeah, that's, right that's understandable, mate. I'll find it. There's, there's a bunch hey, of we'll, we'll take a look. Come on, guys. You know. Surely. The tub. Tell him to check the tub. So, yeah, bedside table. There's bro, bro, look at the bed! Yeah. Are like you blind? Stand there. Uh, Jeff, is that, is, that, is that blood on your mattress? Oh, okay. It's right here. What is it? Photos. That's some gay stuff. <laughs> uh, what a response, yes. Wow, there you go. Come on, bro, it's done. It's done. Game over. <laughs> it's game over, man. Yeah, okay, we're gonna. This is where he gets caught, then we're starting with that episode. Yeah, I got. Sir? Jeffrey, question. You told them to check the drawer where your Polaroids were at. You say Cannon will be used against you in a court of law? Yeah, see. I'm actually surprised with this first episode in terms of. I, yeah, I thought we were gonna be in chronological order. Oh, okay, I guess the, when I said in the scene, um, how would they know that conversation happened? The guy survived, so. That's probably how they know. <laughs> Mr. Dahmer, I'm Detective Kennedy. Fresh trim, mate. Police Department. Jeffrey was arrested late last night. Arrested for what? Attempted murder. We'd just like to ask you some. <laughs> Attempted murder. Anyway, we'll move on from that. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry for becoming emotional. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Was that you emotional? Oh, okay. When he was young, I think he was four, he had a hernia operation. Did he kill a squirrel? You're aware that your son is homosexual, yes? I'll have to sip his coffee for that one. Gonna be difficult to hear, Mr. Dunn. Your son there was a human that. head in his refrigerator. Oh, that's... Oh, wow. Jesus. <laughs> human heart. As well as Another smelly smells could drop. Male genitalia. So he just stored all the bodies in his apartment. There was five more skulls. Jesus. 57 gallon vat. There yeah, was in there. This is what I was Filled with about. acid. That's Inside rough. were three torsos, dripped the tissue off the bones. Just stored every body in his apartment. It was mud. Marks on some of the body parts, as well as things your son mentioned to us. 
He's eating. We the... believe yeah. he ate some of his victims. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, imagine hearing that. <laughs> now, we realize that this is a lot for you to process. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah, that's not fun news, is it, mate? Like, imagine hearing that in general. Never mind that it's your son. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, you can knock like a normal human being. Ma'am, you have to leave the premises. Where exactly am I supposed to go? Yeah, we don't care where you go, get out. How many did you find? Um, I, I think I read it on the trailer, was it? 19. Oh, jeez, it just ended there. <laughs> Every time I check for an after credits, you know, I keep seeing these <laughs> tweets like, oh, Marvel's ruined us all, and I have to check the after credits to everything. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I guess that's the way, it, the way it would be. I get that from anime. I know this is a weird transition, like, <laughs> whatever, but anime is the one that corrupted me because anime would shove in after credits to everything, and it'd be, like, important plot details. So that's what corrupted me. Marvel probably did add on to that. But, uh, yeah, there we go. That is episode one of Dharma. Wait, what we got? Dharma Monster, the Jeffrey Dharma story. Um, I'm just going to call it Dharma in the title because I'm not putting that. They should have just called it Dharma, I don't know. Um, you know, I guess maybe there's a lot of things that I just called Dharma. Yeah, very good first episode. I think I'm surprised with the... So I'm assuming this season is going to st start with episode one here with the victim that got away and got Jeffrey Dharma arrested and then... I'm assuming throughout the next few episodes we'll start to get the flashbacks of all the other victims and then maybe catch up to present day. That's my prediction. Or it'll be modern day, oh, modern day. It'll be where we're at in 1991 and then he's like recounting the victims in court and then we kind of have flashbacks to, uh, yeah. The trailer didn't give away, I'll give that to the trailer. It didn't give away how this season's going to be structured. So I'm curious about that. Like I say, I know... I'm not going to search, but I think I checked and it was like 19 victims, I want to say. That's a lot. <laughs> a lot of uh, victims to get through, but I could be wrong on that. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, Evan Peters, very good. The actor who played, the, I didn't catch his name, but who played the victim who got away, very good as well. The neighbour was very good. So acting-wise, solid. Uh, you're on edge the entire time. We just had like 25 minutes in that apartment and I was like waiting for him to, like I say, waiting for the shoe to drop and for Jeffy to just murder the guy, but that didn't happen, which threw me off a little bit. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's got actually gone away. So the structure of this season is going to be different than how I thought it was going to be, which is, which is a good thing. So, yeah, I'm into it. I think the first episode was pretty solid. Um, nothing mind-blowing, I wouldn't say. I think it was a good start. But I will say, those 25 minutes, they did do a good job of like keeping you on edge. Like, I was waiting for it the whole time for whatever was going to happen to happen and it didn't so good job of that at least who's this directed by i'm not actually sure doesn't say oh carl franklin don't know who that is but yeah rating wise i'll go a i think high seven for this one maybe like 7.8 out of 10 i think just below an eight for this one very close to an eight is it an eight? No, I'm not going to quite go an eight, but I will go a high seven for this one. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you thought of the first episode down below in the comments. And if you finished the season, let me know what you think of the show as a whole. And yeah, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, as I will be doing the entire season. Why not? We'll do the entire season. So I'll try and get episode two up uh, either today or tomorrow. So God, this director's done a lot to be fair. He did an episode of Rome, an episode of the of the Pacific, two episodes of Homeland. Four episodes of House of Cards, four episodes of The Leftovers, two episodes of Thirty Reasons Why, four episodes of Mind Hunter, which I'm assuming got him this job, and then one episode of this. So, yeah, done some good, some good TV shows there as well. All right, I'll see you next time for episode two. Until then, take care, peace.